What's wrong? Wrong? Oh, no, nothing's wrong. We've just been traveling a while now, and I figure there hasn't exactly been equitable distribution of information. Gotten a decent glimpse into your dirty laundry, but you still don't really know a whole heck of a lot about me. I uh, figure that offer to balance the board. So, anything you want to know? What do you remember about the Institute? It's all pretty hazy from back then, but now and then I get glimpses. Life inside the Institute, they keep you isolated. A single test chamber was my whole world for years. And someone was always watching. Then one day, you wake up on the other side. And that's it. They've cut you loose. Welcome to the brave new world. With such people in it. What's with the outfit? After I started the agency, it just seemed like the sort of thing a detective ought to wear. I got some old memories, pre-war, faded to all heck of guys dressed like this, doing what I do, putting on the hat and trench coat, and I figured it'd let folks know I was serious about the whole thing. Clothes make the man and all that. Guess I felt they made me the man I wanted to be. So, so who are you, Nick? That's a question I've been trying to figure out myself for a long damn time. I know I'm a synth, authentic institute handiwork, but I'm still mechanical, not bioengineered like the fancy synths giving everyone the willies these days. I get tune-ups now instead of checkups. But my memories, my personality, they're all lifted from some cop who volunteered for an experiment back before the war. I scanned his brain and copied it onto the hardware that runs between my ears. Don't know why they chose to make a robot based on some pre-war cop instead of a math genius or a bioengineer. Hey, maybe that's why the Institute tossed me in the garbage instead of turning me into one of their people snatchers. Wait, the original Nick was from my time? Sure was. Which meant, when I finally ended up out here, it was quite the rude awakening. I remember waking up one day in a garbage heap, a body in tatters and a head full of memories belonging to a man who'd been dead for 200 years. Suffice to say, it was a confusing couple of weeks. Folks didn't really know much about synths back then, so when I finally ran into people, they mostly treated me with caution rather than hostility. But the kids, <laughs> they weren't afraid. I think his name was Jim. The first person to actually speak to me after I got the boot from the Institute. My first human contact in this world. Grilled me for an hour. <laughs> Once they'd seen I wasn't gonna hurt anyone, the other folks in the neighborhood came out to ogle the mechanical man. It eventually turned into a pretty swell soiree. A local mechanic even gave me a once-over free of charge. Those people, they treated me like a human being. I've been trying to return the favor ever since. It's a surprisingly rare trait out here sometimes. And something I've noticed you got a fondness for. Part of the reason I've stuck around this long. Where's that town? We should go visit. I tried to go back and say thanks, once I'd gotten myself established. But the place was wiped off the map. Raiders. Don't know what happened to the people. If you're good to people, they'll be good back. That's something I've always believed. Couldn't agree more. Well, I expect you're about as bored as can be listening to me rattle my skeletons. You should probably head out. Hey. I'm all ears. Hey, Valentine. Something to get off your chest? Your thoughts? Lead the way. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. Well, I like how you've been handling things lately. That's what you mean. That's all for now. Got it. <laughs>